Hey everybody, Lewis here. Our Shack Barbecue and other things. Well, today I'm gonna do a barbecue restaurant review. Sorry about the noise I'm driving right now. Uh, it's my lunch hour and I uh, thought I would go try this new Oh, barbecue place here in town uh, in Wenatchee. Uh, I have not tried it yet. It's been open for a little while. Uh, and it's called Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue. Now, I would say it's more along the lines of a teriyaki place uh, than a barbecue place. But uh, we will try it and see. Uh, my plan is to order uh, their barbecue beef and uh, their chicken, barbecue chicken. Uh, and I probably will get katsu chicken. Um, and then I'll get their uh, teriyaki sauce and what they think they call it, their yummy sauce. And we'll try it out. So, yeah, let's go try this Hawaiian style barbecue place. So, what I ended up getting was the uh, barbecue and katsu mix and a drink. Uh, and it was a total of $21.72. Uh, the guys that were in there were real nice, uh, very friendly and helpful. Um, they had a couple of big orders before me, even though they just opened, probably like DoorDash type stuff. Uh, so they told me it'd be a little bit. Um, so anyhow, um, let's see what we got. Set that over there and let's open it up. There you go. So like I said, to me, it's more of a teriyaki place than I would say barbecue. But uh, I did get barbecue beef, barbecue chicken, and katsu chicken. Um, I got their teriyaki sauce. Well, this is probably barbecue, maybe. Teriyaki, and then I would say this is their yummy or yumi sauce. Um, of course, you got rice. And then over here, got some kind of uh, noodle looking type salad. Let's see, let me look at that. Take a quick bite of that. It's probably macaroni salad. And if you know me, I'm not a big fan of salads, uh, macaroni or potato. But anyhow, mm, it's okay. So let's go ahead and get our sauces open here. Take a quick smell. Hmm, very bit vinegar based. That might be their barbecue. That is really heavy vinegar. And then this is probably, hmm, I don't know. That's weird. It's congealed. Don't know what that is. And then this sauce here, that looks like it's uh, very similar to Thousand Island dressing. Sorry about the sun on that. But anyhow, what we're going to do is we'll take a bite of each Ooh. and uh, let you know what I think of it. Let's start with the beef. So this is our beef. Barbecue beef. Um, let's take a little bite. Yeah. No. Tastes very much like you would get at a teriyaki spot. I'm going to try this sauce this congealed one i don't know what that's supposed to be like that but I'll try that first mm. yeah, that is good sauce i think that's our teriyaki that's good then whatever this vinegar based one is we'll try it yeah I'm thinking they're trying to make that get that up there closer. Let's see if I can put my hand on oh, barbecue sauce, but it's real runny and very vinegar based. 
this one here, as you can I don't know if you can see, it's more like a jello, so it's congealed. Um, but it's probably their teriyaki. And um, since I didn't try this yumi, let's try this yummy sauce. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, didn't want that much on it. Mmm. Wow. That's really good too. So I like two of the three. Now, the beef, you know, mm, tastes like teriyaki beef to me, teriyaki barbecue. Here's their, just their barbecue chicken. Yeah, mm, mm, not very barbecue-y, but you know, hey, let's try it on this uh, little sauce here. Mm. That sauce is really good. I like that. Very sweet vinegar sauce. Yeah, I don't like that one. Mm. It's not very good. And then their yummy sauce. Let's just do it this way. Try that. Hmm. Yeah. Whatever this is, I don't, I mean, I, it's not really a barbecue, you know, it's not, but it's sweet. It's really not teriyaki either, but whatever it is, it's pretty good. All right. Katsu chicken. Katsu chicken is basically just a breading type chicken. If you don't know what that is, let's try a per Mm. Yeah, you know, it's like, uh, oh, what would you say? Panko flavored. It's real good. Mm. I like that. Well, whatever this sauce here is, it's good on all of them. I like that. Mm. And the one sauce I don't like, you gotta try it, right? Hmm. It's not that I don't like it, it's just, I mean, there's vinegar in it, and uh, it just kind of has that more of a sour flavor. Not not great. And then, let's try the yummy sauce on this. This, you know, like I said, is mayonnaise-based, and almost looks like Thousand Island dressing. But... You know, once again, sweet, and I like sweet, so, mm, that's good. That's yummy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, typical uh, white rice here. White sticky rice, not bad, you know, as rice goes. Mm. I bet you this sauce, the runny sauce, would be pretty good on the rice. That's probably what it's really designed for. Give that rice something like that. Yeah, that definitely is a lot better on the rice. And then their macaroni salad. I mean, like I said, I'm not a big salad fan, macaroni or potato salad fan, uh, but uh, it's okay. I mean, if you like macaroni salad, you probably like it. That's really what that's all about. Then, I've got some kind of, I don't know if they just got vegetables under here, you know, like lettuce or what, just to kind of make it look like you get more. <laughs> but there's some kind of veggie, oh, it's got broccoli and stuff in it, cabbage. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I gotta say, it's all good. It, it tastes good. Um, you know, price $22. It's pretty typical, I would say. Um, and you get plenty of food with the three meats. I think this was $18 for this and then like $2 for a drink and then tax. But, uh, you know, this is good. This ain't bad at all. Mm. Yeah, I really like this, this whatever sauce this is. That's good. Um, 
For this town, excuse me, let me get a drink of my Dr. Pepper. Let me show you their uh, to-go menu. Um, you know, they say Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue. Closed Sundays. <laughs> uh, they got quite a big menu, though. I mean, quite a, quite a, quite a few different little uh, options on it. A lot bigger than you would think that you'd want to have. They have barbecue beef short ribs, uh, which I'll probably order next time and do a review on, maybe. Uh, then they've got all kinds of ramen. So, you know, it's very, oh, what would you say, Asian infused or in influenced. Um, and then, you know, them being Polynesian style, teriyaki, Hawaiian. Uh, very good. Uh, we don't have very many of those places around here. We don't really have too many teriyaki places here in town um, and very few Chinese places, but oh yeah, this is good. I will definitely order it again. I'm not going to tell you to go get it because it's good barbecue, but it's good teriyaki and it's got good flavor, perfectly cooked. Uh, sauces are great on it. You know, macaroni salad is good. Rice is rice. And my, you know, <laughs> this is my, to tell my wife all the time, you know, rice is just a filler to me. Uh, it really, to me, rice really doesn't have flavor. Uh, I like wild rice because it means not other things in it. But so for what we have in town, I would definitely say this is a good spot to go. The Ter Hawaiian, the Tiki Hawaiian Barbecue. It's a good place to go here in Wenatchee. Um, they have a big menu and uh, great flavors. Um, like I said, I wouldn't so much call it barbecue. I would call it teriyaki. Of our restaurant choices around here, fast food, um, I would say on the price level, you know, $22 for what I got figure a family of four you're almost up there to the hundred dollar mark so yeah, i mean you know with what i ordered uh you're probably i would say you figure 15 dollars a plate family of four you're looking at 60 bucks uh then you gotta order drinks on top of that so uh might be on the higher end of expense but uh for what we have here in town i definitely think it's one of the better teriyaki type places to go uh, fast food wise you know like I said when I got there uh, I have an hour for lunch uh, when I got there uh, they had two big orders they were trying to fill they told me it'd be a half hour uh, which all right fine but still makes you have to rush uh, so you got to consider that if you're planning on going out during lunch uh, I would have ordered online, but they don't start taking orders uh, online until uh, past noon, I guess. I don't know how these people ordered ahead of me. Maybe they called in right when they opened the door. But uh, speed there, not the greatest in that factor, but it could have been just because they were opening up. And then uh, quality of food is good, so... Yes, I recommend it. It's delicious uh, for what it is. I don't call it barbecue. If I want teriyaki, this is where I'm going to go here in Wenatchee. Uh, so, anyhow, like I always say, thank you for watching. You can go try this too if you're in town. Until next time, my friends. Grill on.